Let's say you're the CEO of one of America's largest companies. First, congratulations. You are incredibly rich. But how rich? Well, it depends on the decade. If you're an average CEO in the 1950s, you're making about 20 times more than a typical worker. In the 1980s, about 42 times more. Today, between 200 and 270 times more. And last year's most unequal CEO was J.C. Penney's Ron Johnson. He earned 1,900 times more than his typical worker. CEO pay has exploded in the last few decades, that's obvious. But is it because CEOs are more valuable? Or because they're just being paid more? Well, the answer is both. America's corporations are bigger and more complicated than they were 50 years ago. The biggest U.S. company in 1955 was General Motors. Its revenue was $90 billion in today's dollars, and it had hundreds of thousands of employees, mostly in North America. Today, there are 20 American companies with more than $90 billion in revenue. And many of them, like Walmart or GE, have half or more of their employees working outside the U.S. If you're at the helm of one of America's most important corporations these days, you're acting on the world stage. It's a bigger job. But the second reason CEOs are paid more is that they're paid differently. They're more likely to be compensated with something a little more valuable than old-fashioned salary. Stock options now account for half the typical pay package of America's leading CEOs. Using stock to reward performance sounds prudent. It's like giving your kid a little extra cash if he gets straight A's. So in the 1990s, more companies started paying CEOs with stock. If the CEO turned out to be a genius and the company thrived, he would be paid like a king. But remember the 90s? The stock market exploded. Every CEO looked like a genius, and new CEOs, seeing their friends take home huge pay packages, said, hey, I want some stock. Hey, me too. Stock, please. In the last 20 years, Typical pay for a CEO at one of America's largest companies has ridden this stock market roller coaster. From $4 million in 1993 to more than $17 million in the dot-com bubble, then way down in the bust, up and down and back up to $12 million. CEO pay is like any price. It will rise to the level that people will put up with. For enormously talented people, in positions of nearly unparalleled power, it's very difficult to know what their true value is. So America's largest companies simply err on the safe side and pay through the nose.